Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. As you're aware, crypto has been on the downtrend. Things have been getting boring. The volume is dropping. The views are leaving the channels and the subscribers are also down. So when will altcoins rise again? I think I may have a little bit of an answer and it does include some humor. We're going to look at the YouTuber which created a cryptocurrency as a joke which has now turned into a minor scam. Now, I am playing on that a bit. They have taken what he has done and tried to turn it into a scam token. So the link between the meme coins and when will altcoins rise again, is that I believe we need to see more of these meme coins, more of the altcoins, more of the blood removed from the market before we can head up again. So I've got a couple of things to look at today. So let's take a look at CoffeeZilla's meme coin, which he was trying to create to protect people, which has now been turned into a cryptocurrency, which you can buy. And of course, I am not suggesting to buy it at all. So remember what to do. Hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon, like the video up. Let's dive in. Now, if you're unfamiliar with CoffeeZilla, he does a lot of these exposed videos and just talking about how much scamming there is online. You probably learn more about cryptocurrency in these few videos than you will across crypto YouTube, which is sad within itself. But uh, yeah, if you're interested, check out these videos. You've got one on Kim Kardashian, which she has promoted a massive scam, Ethereum Max, which has got nothing to do with Ethereum. And on the back of this video, CoffeeZilla created his own cryptocurrency, Safest Galaxy. However, as is the crypto space, someone has taken that and turned it into a scam itself. And so Coffee's just reposting saying, no, not endorsed by me, not inspired by me and not wanted by me. So Safest Galaxy was a joke that he created and someone has now taken that and turned it into their own crypto. And you can purchase this on Bogged Finance. Don't go and buy this. It's straightforward. It's a scam. The, the sad thing about it is that Safest Galaxy isn't even at the top here. Safe Galaxy is up here. Safest Galaxy is further down. Of course, he's not going to put that much time into it because it's just a joke. Don't go and get yourself scammed. Now, there's a couple of other tokens here. Zilla, which is already there, and other scam tokens as well. So looking at when will altcoins moon again, we still need some bleeding to happen. Look at this Safe Moon and Safe Moon Cash and Safe Mars, Safe Moon Inu, Safe Mars. All of it. It's all scams. And eventually they'll all come crashing down and everyone will get burnt just saying, well, it would have happened if, et cetera, et cetera. And so I tend to look at the Dogecoin chart. This is kind of the space where a lot of noobs are at and a lot of noobs made killing, an absolute killing. And of course, smart money also made a killing riding these waves up. But eventually these... Uh, these trends turn and obviously we start to break down and that's what I'm seeing here. We have broken these lows. We don't have a similar trend to what we're seeing back here from February through to April. So we did break down and then we held some support and the market overall was still bullish, whereas the market now is very on the downside, very bearish. And for something to be able to hold up in, in a bearish market would take a lot of strength. And so I don't think Dogecoin is going to be the exception to this rule. And so I'm just watching to see how much this bleeds out and then also follow the other scams out there. Some of the biggest stuff that happened through this first section of the macro Bitcoin and crypto bull market, stuff like SafeMoon that has been going, well, it was absolutely wild and now it's basically just died off. And so these sort of things I think have to bleed out quite heavily. And what we're going to see next is more things like Bitcoin moving up and in which case we will see the rest of the altcoins continue to bleed. At the moment, Bitcoin is having a lot of trouble. Do I know when the bottom is in on Bitcoin? No, I won't know it at the time. We always see these things afterwards. However, what we're looking at on the chart is to give us some direction and some guidance and not to be caught up in the fuss. Like what we saw a few days ago, people are trying to call this as a Wyckoff accumulation. I noticed it on a video here from Chico Crypto looking at the Wyckoff accumulation and we should be heading up into new highs on altcoins or at least starting to get bullish again. And this comes from a Twitter post which has just been reposted. So Sultan has talked about the accumulation zone. This is kind of akin to the crypto scams 
these people are not scams. I don't, I'm not saying that people here are scammers. I'm just saying when it comes to using technical analysis, you need to go to the source, go to these books. Don't go just to Twitter. The same thing can go for me. You don't have to believe everything that I say on the channel. Please go and do the research and find the Wyckoff methods and uh, read up on how Wyckoff put this together over a hundred years ago. Because just adding a schematic to a chart doesn't mean Wyckoff. Wyckoff used volume. There is zero volume on this chart. And so first up, it is just incompletely wrong to be using Wyckoff in this method with a chart and then reposting it on crypto Twitter and on crypto YouTube. This gives technical analysis a bad name, okay? And it just does nothing for the average viewer where they just start to mix up technical analysis. Really go and just look at one source and work on that. And so I've talked about that in previous videos on the channel. This is part of where I'm seeing that the altcoins still need more time to bleed out. There is still a lot of bullish ideas going on and not being able to use charts properly. And also the altcoin scams, which are being promoted by influencers out there. And so once this stuff starts to drop, once we get a, a better accumulation zone coming through on the Bitcoin chart and we see Bitcoin begin to take off, then the altcoins will follow eventually. But I think we really need to see the bleed first. Then we need to see the accumulation period on Bitcoin finalize and start to break out again. And then we see Bitcoin go on its first leg while altcoins wait to see what happens next. So in terms of when will altcoins move up, we need to see a lot of things first before that happens. And I'm not getting overly excited. I'm not diving into buying altcoins, which again, talked about many, many times already on this channel for those particular reasons, because we haven't seen the first stages of the breakout for Bitcoin. We still haven't seen the bottom. We still haven't seen the finish of the accumulation period. We still have too many scammers in the game. And that's why I am waiting to see what happens next. Remember in this game, patience is going to make you more money. It'll save you money and then it will make you money more than diving into everything just on the hopes and the dreams that we are going to a new altcoin season in July which unfortunately this is what's talked about here. So in the meantime, if you are looking for something to do with all of that patience, obviously go and do some education, read up on Wyckoff, read up on GAN analysis, start to practice it in the markets, use crypto, use stocks, it doesn't matter, just use the charts and learn about it. Check out some of CoffeeZilla's entertaining videos, things on Tether FUD as well. That's a pretty interesting video, stuff that we saw in 2017. I have my views about it, which we can talk about in future videos. But I just wanted to leave this video with discussing altcoins, the scams that are still out there, why I think they still need to be bled out of existence, and then we can start to rebuild and take off. So we still got a few more steps to go before I think we'll see some sort of Bitcoin bull head up again and then of course altcoins to follow. Stick around on the channel, we've got crypto news coming up and plenty more videos. You can get started on some of your education here with these videos to catch up on looking at full technical analysis guides. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram daily Q&As over there. It's live now so go and do that and of course like the video up, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. These are the times to be here. This is what we've talked about and we've prepared for over the last six plus months. When all the retail leaves and the noise, now is the time to be stuck into your plans. All right, guys, thanks very much. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.